So what a year you've had. So congratulations on the Emmy and Golden Globe nominations Thank for you. Emily in Paris. Thank you. And you got married. You found a decent guy. I did. I got married. You're a decent guy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It was quite, it was quite the year. Yeah, and so you got married. Uh, I just saw you next to a waterfall. Where was this? Oh yeah, um, it was a place called Dunton Hot Springs in Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, we had never actually been there until about the day before we got married, which was really fun planning a wedding before visiting the location. But, um, but it was stunning and we love nature, so. Yeah, I know, y'all really love nature. <laughs> You're both, is that, how did y'all meet? We met, um, we both are in the industry and we have parents that are in the similar industry as well, but we, we met randomly, actually. So we were kind of surprised we hadn't met yet. Uh -huh. We'd been in the same rooms a bunch of times and never mm -hmm. met, but it was kind of one of those cheesy but true love at first sight. And things. did you both know right away that you were both outdoorsy? No. He did not know that I was very outdoorsy. I don't think I knew I was quite as outdoorsy as I became. Um, but I grew up in the English countryside, so I've always loved being outdoors. But we've and embraced did he, it. Did he like being outdoors as much as... Because the two of you together are always someplace interesting, it seems. <laughs> we are. We, we really like embracing new adventures. So, um, so where's yeah. this? Oh, this is on our honeymoon um, in Norway. We went all around Scandinavia on like a foodie adventure tour. Um, now, I've never been to Norway, but that seems beautiful and cold. Stunning. Was it, it cold? Freezing, and if anyone knows me, they know that I'm just like not a fan of the cold, but I embraced it. I, we, got, we got in the water, which is freezing, beyond freezing. Yeah, I saw you jump in the water. D yes. Um, <laughs> and then, so this tree house, we have a picture of the tree house yeah. that you stayed in, and oh. so that's, I mean, that's where you and and what what happens in that treehouse? Like what? It, it, Ellen, <laughs> um, no, well, a lot happens in that treehouse. I want to know everything. Every, everything. Uh, no, but um, like, what that's a tree going through the tree. Yeah, it's it's wild. So this is in um, the Swedish Laplands, and every treehouse is done by a famous architect. And we stayed in the one that you just saw, and it has a literal tree that goes in the middle of it, and there's this netting that you can lay on your back and stare at the stars. Um, it's so beautiful, it's so romantic. It's also odd because there's obviously like no piping that goes up to the treehouse. So like it's very close quarters. And you know, when you go to the bathroom, it's um, you have to do anything you're gonna do into a paper bag, which then gets incinerated, which no. then turns to dust, which gets buried and made into a tree. No, no. So it's like, you know, it's eco-friendly. Uh, no, no, It was no. intimate, I'll tell you that much. No, no. <laughs> I would not There's do so that. There's so much no to that. At four in the morning, if you have to pee or whatever, you just have to remember the bag. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, I love architecture and that looked really cool. And that's why I was asking, because it didn't look like there was electricity or plumbing or anything there. It just looked pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. And then uh, you, you uh, swam with a, well, well, first let's talk about the moose thing. So I want to get to the swimming with a whale because oh, that yes. was incredible. Oh, but yeah. you learned, you were calling a moose, <laughs> um, not on a phone, you were calling a moose <laughs> just to see it, not to shoot it. It wasn't Oh, like no, a, no, no, no. Yeah, this is just this purely is... for the joy of finding a moose. Right. So here's a guy. We have a clip of a guy uh, teaching you how to call. It sounds like a moose in distress. Is I that know. What? Honestly, lovely Can... Mikhail was our was our moose guide aficionado. He's been doing it for like 40 years. Um, we didn't know what noise was going to come out of his mouth, and he prefaced it by saying, "This may be funny to some of you." And um, I was like, "No, it's not. It's going to be so not funny." And then it started, and the entire time I had to just stand with my back, and all you saw was my shoulders <laughs> doing this because I couldn't keep it straight. But you did know, you learn how to do it? Uh, I heard it for two and a half hours, so I feel like maybe, we didn't see a moose though. It didn't work. Yeah. It, it sounds like a moose would have a, a deeper, yeah. you know, instead of, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, we get, we're gonna take a break and then I wanna look at the whale that you swam oh. with, which is incredible. I can't imagine doing that. We'll be back, more with Lily. That's Lily Collins and Emily in Paris. It's a huge hit on Netflix. So this is a clip from season two. What happens in season two? 
Um, more adventures with Emily and the love triangle that we left off in. Um, more fun and, you know, Emily-isms in the workplace. Um, so much more adventure there. Lots more in the French culture and um, a new classmate in French class who intrigues and um, annoys her and we'll see where that leads. And there's a scene uh, in a steam room where you're with naked people. Are they, they're naked, right? Yes, they They're, were, yeah, I essentially spent the day at the spa, um, but uh, they were naked or topless, and it, the, it's just, that's just not, it's not normal to spend a day at work like that, obviously. Um, it was very, totally done respectfully, but as, the, I didn't know where to look. <laughs> you, it's just like, wait, because I'm like meeting actors for the day, and you're like, hi. Yeah. yeah, you did great in that scene. And it's like, is that weird to say? It's just, it's just bizarre. Right. But I mean, it felt nice to be in a steam room all day. I yeah, guess. well, that's good for you anyway. Hydrate it's good for them. my skin. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this. So you're in Tahiti, again, traveling, being outdoorsy. And yeah. you, uh, there's a whale and, and a baby, a humpback whale and her baby. And you just jumped in. And look how close she is. Watch how close she gets. Whoop, there, that's me. Yeah. That is incredible. It was, it, th so that might look terrifying. I don't know, maybe, well, there, I looked very happy. I was very happy right there. Um, it was the most calming spiritual experience. It was very unexpected. It wasn't even the season to really see them uh, that closely, let alone at all. And um, I was watching my husband surf, and all of a sudden the, the captain of the ship said, there's a whale, do you wanna jump in and swim with it? It's like, I never thought I'd hear those words. And I just went, yes, and I didn't even think of it because I'm deathly afraid of sharks. I watched Jaws at far too young of an age. And, uh, but I just jumped right in, and all of a sudden a, a baby showed up, and we realized it was the mother and her baby, and. I mean, it was as close as you are, and it just, they both just stared at me for like 30 seconds, and I just felt, I felt so calm. Yeah. It was magic. I, it really I would was. love to do that. Yeah, but I've heard they're just highly intelligent uh, uh, beings, mm. and um, God, lucky you. That's amazing. It was, it was special. So maybe, yeah. maybe Emily in Tahiti, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Season two of Emily in Paris is streaming now on Netflix. We'll be right back.